Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about not writing tests. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, are there any ever any situations when I should not write tests for my code? Yes. There's actually quite a lot of situations when you don't, you shouldn't really do that. Um, so an example would be uh, when you are making something where it doesn't really matter whether or not it works or not because it's so trivial to fix any problem when you try it out that it doesn't really 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 affect anything because the the thing that I'd like to and this is actually funny because I have a lot of conversations with the religious people about this I actually had a discussion about this with my manager yesterday we were talking about uh, the situation where an ignorant person or someone who doesn't actually know how things actually work they usually preach the doctrine of something like it's the absolute truth because they haven't done any real living or thinking themselves and I worked with so many of these people holy shit a lot of people and it's not just in programming where you cannot actually have a conversation with them about the details or intricacies of anything from agile to test driven development to functional program it doesn't matter because you're talking you're just talking to a religious fanatic who doesn't actually understand anything about what they're saying they're simply repeating the doctrine of what somebody else has said and an example would be test driven development or being test focused or like everybody who ever got into testing gets to be so passionate about it that you can't have a rational conversation about them uh, with them and so I like to ask them why do we write tests and you will get all kinds of answers but the real answer the fundamental answer is we write tests so that we know that the code is still working that's it that's the whole reason and that fundamental realization should lead to that you understand that if it doesn't really matter if the code is working or the cost of fixing the code is so low that it doesn't really cause a problem that uh, it breaks or like it's not really important then why have the test it's like buying the vo volcano insurance for an uh, for, for like for me here. I guess it's actually funny. I saw that a few years back. My insurance covers volcanoes, so I'm very protected on the off chance that Central Gothenburg uh, erupts into flames. But uh, f the it's really down to that exact thing. It's cost in uh, investment versus cost, return on investment. And so for me, I usually don't write any tests, and I don't think that you should f go heavy on testing for something like a script that does something basic in your pipeline. Or if, uh, like, if, for example, I have a long-running project. It's a startup. Uh, it's not really a startup, but it's something that I play around with in the weekends. It's actually a, at this point I have tons of bugs in it and so forth. But it's a f and it's growing to a more sophisticated system. But the reality is that nobody's really using it it doesn't really matter if something breaks because I'm the only person who uses it and I can fix it as soon as it breaks and it's not that often that I do break it so why would I invest a lot of upfront in, uh, into making sure that everything is working all the time because usually the reason why testing is such an important factor for people is because you have an end customer who's paying you to make sure that everything is working all the time and if you don't have anybody who's paying you to make the code work all the time, then why the fuck would you care? It's 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 a, if you think about it, there's a lot of stuff in the world that is based on exactly that thing. I, mm -hmm. Practically, our entire economy is not based around does it work or not, or does it like do the job. It's around does it fulfill the expectations of the customer. That's what practically everything you do is about. In, even as a software developer that's why all of this grows because you know high availability all of that stuff it comes from the fact that the customer doesn't want to see that good old 90s 80s no, 90s or like uh, screen showing sub website temporarily down for maintenance that's the whole reason we created it 
because we're losing money or like the, the idea is that you're losing money during those down periods and that's why we invent ways to make sure that the web is always up or like your application is always working etc etc because we want to uh, provide an experience towards the end customer that is as good as possible and if you don't really have a need to do that well then don't I mean nobody loses at all from the fact that you don't have any tests if nobody is using the code that or no if nobody if nobody cares if the code breaks because they're all capable of fixing it or nobody's using the system then who cares if there are tests or not so what I want you to take away from this is that I don't think that you should write tests for like completely greenfield projects when it's like yeah, okay, as the hackathon thing or you're writing some shell scripts or something or whatever you're doing in order to like, copy some files or stuff like that because the impact of it breaking is so minor that it doesn't really matter and it probably very rarely breaks in the first place and that realization is the thing that I think you should really think about you write tests to make sure that the code is always working so in other words, if the code, if it doesn't matter if the code is working all the time or not, then why write the test? There's no point. And that is true for a lot of situations. In many cases, I will go as far as to say that the organic way to, to run a software company is to start off creating a hackathon proof of concept type of thing with almost no test you just because there's so little code that you just produce the thing some code is so complicated that you actually have to have tests even for yourself because the likelihood of you getting it right is so low but for the most part that you don't need any tests in the beginning and then the system grows it grows 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 it continues growing and at some point you find that it's actually very difficult to do anything without breaking something else that's the exact moment when testing, well, that's actually like you should have started test, writing tests a month before that. And then from that point on, testing should be the rule because the system is now so sophisticated or there are so many people depending on that it is always working that mistakes are very bad for you and your business. Have a great day.